How's the royal family? I pray that everyone is doing well. Well, my royal family, racial profiling in America is very, very commonplace to the royal family. We are very used to racial profiling in this country. And the insult to injury, my royal family, is this country tries to play like and act like that that does not exist at all does not exist at all and the other thing they like to play with because they love playing with statistics that 99.99 percent of the police are upstanding citizens and they just do their job and it's that one percent that is horrible and go above and beyond but the righteous of passage for a black male in america is to be racially profiled by the police we all know it we all know it and the thing that i learned from dr francis quest as well dean was that when she first started practicing she noticed quickly the number one thing that she had to deal with with her clients was dealing with isms, racisms, and dealing with that. It affects you. It affects you mentally. It affects you physically. And that is the ultimate goal of the enemy to fuck with our psyche daily. Now, it just happened that this summer we have seen the hypervia how in this country damn near the entire caucasoid race profiles us it ain't just the unquote police they call us for the mo they'll call the police on us for the most frivolous thing and many of us have been putting up videos as well as myself and the thing that i have learned from this is that the police wants this to continue to go on and because that you know their attitude is you can never be sure because i ain't heard not a one say hey y'all need to stop making frivolous phone calls but see the thing is because they live by the code is to um continue to subjugate us and to fuck with our psyche now the entire royal family which it's been going on all along but see big brother is watching you and what the enemy did not factor in that they would be watched too and it is showing their behavior and this is something they cannot and will not ever ever get on cold because it is part of their nature to fuck with us remember this my royal family in the animal kingdom every animal has an enemy and we have one too and we need to study nature more and what the animal kingdom do to protect themselves from their natural enemies so my royal family i have two videos that i'm going to show the royal family and we're going to get into racial profiling at its finest so first and foremost let's get this all set up and let's watch this two minute video, then we're gonna go deeper. What's up? It's the traffic stop a community group is calling racial profiling. Is this your car? Well, it's a rent right now. My car's been shot. Okay. Did you, something break down? Yes, sir. Yeah, so you guys just came from over at the park, right? Yeah, we just hanging out. That's it. 23-year-old Montre Little was behind the wheel. 21-year-old Jared Clinton, his passenger, when Des Moines police officers Kyle Teese and Natalie Heineman pulled him over. Do you have any weapons on you or in the car? No. Okay, can I be honest with you? It smells like marijuana in the car, and I can see shake on the ground. And your buddy's giving me the, your buddy's giving me the idea that maybe he's got a gun. Teese detained Little, handcuffing him in the back of a police car, and Heineman questioned Clinton. You're not the park closed like a half hour ago. 
and you guys were leaving the park, and then he didn't fully stop at the stop sign. Both continued to deny they had guns or drugs, and the two were eventually let go. All right, man. Do you have any See questions? You Why would you want to do that to a person? Why? But the stop just doesn't sit right with Laurel Clinton, Jared's mom. As soon as the officer accused my son of having a gun, my heart skipped a beat. My son could have easily been killed. I don't understand how sitting with your hands in a neutral position made you appear to be gun-toting. Iowa Citizens for Community Improvement, a social justice group which Clinton is a member of, claims Teese has a history of targeting young black men. The group says in 2017, Teese charged 26 black people and five white people with interference. It also claims 100% of his jail bookings were black people. Police are firing back, though, saying their own look at the numbers shows that this characterization is wrong. The racial disparity that they're alleging is not accurate at all. We're a little disappointed I mean, for an organization that um, has community improvement in their name. This is probably one of the more irresponsible um, ways to go about trying to have a discussion like this. Sergeant Paul Parizic says he couldn't comment on specifics in the video as the department is now launching an internal investigation. We'll do it top to bottom like we do everything else, and if we're wrong, we'll own it. Clinton says she wants to see justice. I just don't want this to be an ongoing event, mm -hmm. that if this is a teaching moment, that we all learn something out of it. If they're able to take this incident and actually be proactive. All right, let me stop this quickly, going into another video. Is there a way to make That we do not need to see. So let me get rid of this quickly, my royal family. And before I get into the much longer video, my royal family, um, the other game is we're going to do an investigation. How the hell that you are going to investigate yourself and you run that department. Not a damn thing is going to happen. Okay, one of the young men that was a part of this racial profiling stop, um, the mother is a part of this um, community group and um, she's acting just like many black people act, they act surprised. See, the reason why that chief of police said that he was disappointed is because in that group, because they fig figure that group is in place to do the bitching and moaning. Just bitch, just moan, just march, and that'll be it. And we have a good understanding in the community. So ain't nothing gonna happen. So we are not well abreast, some of us, how they get down. Nothing is going to happen. The only thing that's going to happen is they going to continue to fuck with us. That is it and that is all. It is very clear, very clear. But as we continue on my royal family, um, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go into the longer version of this video, which is a little over 13 minutes, and we're going to do the investigation ourselves. And the one thing that I wanna point out that I seen immediately when they pulled them over, or way before they pulled them, well, when they pulled them over, let's put that, I ain't gonna jump, jump too quick, is that they were accusing the passenger of having a gun. All right, look where the passenger hand was. All right, my royal family, let's investigate this now.
What's going on, guys? What's up? Is this your car? Well, it's a rent right now. My car's in the shop. Okay. Did you, something break down? Yes, sir. Yeah, so you guys just came from over at the park, right? Yeah, we're just hanging out. That's it? Well, uh, that's what we're Is this your car? I just told you my car's in the shop, officer. This is a rental. Okay. How do you start it? What do you mean? I just put my foot on the brake and I put it in drive and I Okay. Drive, officer. Hey, who, so it's your car, though? Hey, Did they give you a it's fob or something? my car, officer. Did they give you a key fob or something? Or? Yes, sir. Like what does it do? Does it? You see this? This lets this actually lets you know that it's in. Okay. Do you have any weapons on you or in the car? No. Okay. Can I be honest with you? It smells like marijuana in the car, and I can see shake on the ground. And your buddy's giving me the your buddy's giving me the idea that maybe he's got a gun. You know what I mean? Like that's what I think. Wow. I don't know. Just the, the way I mean, just the way you're holding yourself, man. Like. That's why I'm. That's why we're nervous, man. That's it. I mean, if you're scared because you got a little bit of weed, that'll be one thing. Okay. 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 So there's there's no shake on the floor. Okay. All right. And you don't have any weapons on you? You said. Okay. Do you have your ID on you? Okay. You don't got no weapons on you? Go ahead and step out, Montre. Yep, I just told you why. Three times. You want me to recap again? Yep, your hands are up, and now I'm asking you to step out of the car. I gave you my ID. You gave me your ID. Go run it. Yep, I don't want to. I'm not walking away from this car. Officer, can I ask you why? Yep. Because I just told you, step out of the car. If you don't want to go to jail, I would, I would, I would expect you to please listen. Right. I mean, I, I, I told you I'm a cop. Face the car when you step out. Face the car when you step out. Face the car when you step out. Don't flex. Don't flex. I don't know what you're doing, man, but you need to knock that off. Stop pulling on your arms. What's going on, dude? Where are you trying to? What are you doing, dude? Officer, I'm not doing nothing to you. Okay. Well, you're making me think something funny is going on, man. Come on, man. You're not under arrest. You're just, you're you just, just, you just, you're just like, me. you're like pulling away, like you're gonna do something silly, and I don't want that. What? Nothing. I what? I'm not even. I'm not. I'm not even gonna. Okay. Well, you're not under arrest, man. We're just trying to figure out what's going on. Okay. Sure. Okay. So slide over. I mean, your heart is thumping, dude. Like, you're beating. Officer, don't, don't, please don't. Don't what? Have a seat. Okay. Have a seat. I want to, I think that your buddy has okay. a gun, so I need you to step in the car. You think my step buddy in, has a gun? He's acting funny. Step in the car, please. Officer, if you on. If you don't step in the car, you're going to jail for sure. Okay, that's so step in the car. So step in the car. Listen, listen. I, I don't want, officer. I don't, I'm not, I'm done listening. I just told you, I think that your buddy has a gun. Now knock it off. Can you spread your feet just a little bit? Okay. All right, come back and stand with me, okay? You're not going to run from me, are
old are you, Montre? You're supposed to be... March 25th, 1995. You're supposed to be drinking in the park there? Officer, I don't, officer, that's just in there, okay? There was no gun, there was no weapon to harm you, officer. We didn't do anything wrong, we stopped at the stoplight. We pulled over when you pulled over. I did everything you asked me to, officer. You thought there was a weapon, there's no weapon, we wasn't doing anything wrong, officer. I'm not sure why you pulled me over. That's your rental, everything is fine. There's no breaking tail light or nothing, officer. I did nothing wrong with you. How's your day going, officer? I'm good, brother. That's good, that's good, man. Um, if I take them handcuffs off you, you gonna can you dump out that bottle of alcohol for me? Oh, I could do it any time, officer. Is that good? Yeah, of course it is. You good? We straight? Okay, so here's the deal, like, you and I know, I mean, let's, let's, let's start over, let's, let's root with each other. Did I make anything up when I said the car smelled like marijuana? Yeah, a little bit. A hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because there's nobody there smoking in the is car. Is there marijuana shake on the floor of the car? Officer, that was cigarette ash, okay? There's no, you can't find no marijuana. I did, I'm not charging you with marijuana. I, but here's, here's what, if, if you want me to, if you want me to be real with you, like, I want you to be real with me for a second. Like, did I make that up? You know what I mean? Did I, did I just, did I make it up? I believe so, officer. Okay, so you want me to just write you the ticket for the stuff that I had to write you tickets for? If you think that I'm lying, like, then we'll go to court and we'll, we'll talk about it then. Okay. Or do you want to just be real with me and I'll be real with you? Wow, officer. Right? I, I would like to pull out my alcohol like you're asking to, officer. You didn't find anything. We wasn't doing anything, officer. Okay. So you're not going to admit that you maybe were around people smoking or something like that? Officer. Were you around anybody smoking? Cigarettes. That's it. Officer, there's no weed shake on the op there's no weed shake on the floor, officer. Where's the car?
Go ahead and go grab it. Usually when we see that, with somebody sitting there like that, like there's a gun right where you, you know what I mean? Like, I'm telling you, like that's what happens. That's the only reason, that's the only reason that happened. Is because like, you were just making it seem like something crazy is going on when it could have just been something little as that or like a bag or something. Like, we jump automatically to what? Yeah, I already know. Do you have any questions? All right, my royal family. They are thanking them for fucking over them. That was nothing more than a bullshit ass pullover, and they had racial profiled them when they were in the park. And just something that people commonly do every day when we do it, we got to be doing something. And um, the number one thing that I want to say about this, stop having small talk with police. When they are in full throttle, um, just be quiet and let them do what they're going to do. And what you need to be thinking about is I'm going to live through this situation. We already know they're looking for an excuse to kill you. They looking for an excuse. And if you listen to that very last part, seconds of this video, that cop was still wondering, I gotta, they got to have hidden something somewhere. See, they look at all of us as criminals. And we've been walking around way too lackadaisical. And now we have learned, because they have gave up the goods, even more so, how they look at us all of us all of us even our royal babies we are all criminals we got to be doing something and they are the unquote authority on the law they know everything they know everything and then the crazy part um the hands shaking and all that shit they wouldn't have got that energy from me i would have just been quiet then he wants him to, you know, they trying to find, this guy is trying to find something. And we have to be the one that not escalate because they going to try to find a way to escalate it. And that went nothing more than racial, racial profiling at its finest. So this is what I'm going to ask the family to do. Analyze the video very, very close again. Tell me some of the things that I may have missed miss and if you also disagree with me disagree with me maybe i'm looking at something wrong but um i have already formed my opinion but i'm not going to block you or take you off if you have another way of thinking so my royal family render your voice with your beautiful divine words and as always my royal family i thank you for your love i thank you for your support and with that said, I shake.